my coworkers think furries are hot. Like, hotter than the hood of a car parked out in the Texas summer. Hi everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood caffeine fox here. And I've just gotten back from a trip to a certain yellow and black convention in Pittsburgh. This will be my last ever con this year, which is sort of sad. I'm not cutting onions, are you? Since I'm leaving the Air Force in the next couple of months, I won't have any vacation time left. I have to start at the beginning, baby. But yeah, no IFC or MFF for me this year. In the meantime, I'll keep making goofy animal videos on YouTube to keep my sanity. So I gotta spill the beans, you know? We all have our own unique interests and preferences, and that's what makes the world so wonderfully diverse. But when it comes to my coworkers' fascination with furries, let's just say things get a little interesting around the water cooler. So I went to work that day like any other. The sun was shining, the birds were buzzing, and the bees were chirping. After a pretty long day of using my time constructively, I decided that I would take a break and talk to some of my coworkers down the hall. Let's call them ketchup and mustard. When I made it out into the hallway that they were standing in, I walked in on a rather completely normal conversation. Ketchup was listening intently to what Mustard was saying. His every glance, a mixture of confusion, intrigue, and a little bit of abject horror. I walked in on the part of their conversation where Mustard proudly proclaimed, And that's why I think Lola Bunny is hot. You know, even Lola Bunny from Pokemon is kinda, mmm, you know what I mean? Before I could turn around and head back into my office, Mustard locked eyes with me and motioned me over. He had a big smirk on his face. Hey, Calf, you're a furry, right? At this point, it still hasn't gotten easy to respond to that. Like, what am I supposed to say? Oh, heck yeah. Furries are my life and I pray at the furry god's altar each night so that I might wake up more furry than the last night. I mumbled something like, yeah. Perfect. Mustard exclaimed. We're trying to settle a bet. Which furry is the hottest, Lola Bunny or Lopunny from Pokemon? I did what any self-respecting furry would do and pick, you guessed it, you know, from that animation that came out a while ago. Yeah, that. My answer seemed to make Mustard happy because he turned to Ketchup and said, See, sometimes you have to go to the expert to get the real opinions. That was a lot for me to take in. So after making my response to my coworkers, I politely turned around and booked it out of the hallway. Back to the safety of my cubicle. The moral of the story, yes, of course there's a moral here, is never, under any circumstances, leave the safety of your office cubicle. Your coworkers might ask you if Lagoshi is hotter than the wolf from Bad Guys, but yeah, thanks all for joining me on this anxiety-filled episode. Let me know in the comments if you ever had any awkward experiences at work or wherever regarding furries. If you like this video, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button. And yeah, I'll see you fluffs on the next episode. Bye. I'd like to give a huge thank you to the following Gold Egg patrons. Blueberry, Keys, Chase Husky, Ashira Pony, Moodle, DH, Apollo Bunny, Dynamo, Emerith Cantonine, and Cinderkin. And a huge thank you to all of my other supporters as well. If any of you want to consider becoming a patron, check me out in the link down below. Oh my goodness, thank you.